Hi guys, welcome in. Um, today I am going to be making some or a paper mache bowl. Um, so this one is going to get very messy and um, I'll be honest I made a ATC hello um, I made a quick one yesterday as you can see here I think I'm not sure if the camera's working now I think it's broken again oh wonderful <laughs> hi guys um, I don't know what is wrong with this camera but this is the second time now as soon as I go live it breaks it stops working completely um hang on get that one let's have a look see oh clonk there goes the chair right see the table and stuff on it yeah um, I was waving my hand in front of the camera which is a usual indication that it's not actually working because it wasn't displaying anything is it displaying now? no right how about now? Okay, one moment, I'll have to put it back in again. It does not like this camera for some reason, so shouldn't be too hard to. Welcome to live overlay editing. Yeah. Right. It's so professional, isn't it? Absolute professionalism right here. I swear to you, did it was working up until the point I went live. Um video capture, put that one in. Add new device. That one. Is that working now? Yes, it's working now. Hooray. Okay, so apparently there is two things that Streamlabs does not like. One is Assassin's Creed and the other is this camera, which is typical. So far they're the only things I've been using. <laughs> um, right. Hi Duncan. Hi TC. Hi Jay. Um, hi cow home. Okay. <laughs> so now that I've got that ready, I can start now. <laughs> um, so I'm currently using an old soap dish and you can tell it's an old soap dish because there is actually still some soap in there. Um, it looks a bit weird and shiny because, oh, there you go, put it under the camera. Um, I've actually covered it in cellophane for the moment, um, just so that the glue and stuff doesn't stick to it. Um, <laughs> show us the thing again. <laughs> yeah, that that thing, that thing right there. There you go. <laughs> Thanks for the hosts, guys. Um, so yeah, you can also use cling film, or if you've got something like um, basically anything with a really shiny surface, generally the glue doesn't stick to. But because this is a bit, um, it's like weird plastic. It's sort of like um i don't know what's the word for it it's not speckly but you know um anyway it's it's so i was worried that the glue might stick to it um so we've got some paper here and i do have some more down there um right i can show you this now i'll show you this one it's not very good um i basically made this yesterday like just after <laughs> You know, you know, Jay. I'll be honest. They've they've sort of gone down in my in my books. 
you know they're, they're not quite as good as they used to be and um to be fair I'm, I'm still reeling over the fact that they never sent me out my badge even though i applied for it um and that was about 20 years ago now so <laughs> not bitter at all um but to be fair they did sort of they were one of the reasons why i'm so into crafting um one of these years one of these years i will make their tracy island um out of paper mache they had this massive one and i was obsessed with thunderbirds at the time and i've always wanted to do that <laughs> yeah the days of homemade tracy island <laughs> yes i would agree with that i would agree with that jay connie herc was the best presenter and matt and meg of course <laughs> the jolly robin um but yeah so i am gonna get started actually um one thing to remember, if you're doing anything that involves covering and glue, remove jewellery. Always remove the jewellery. Because I didn't do that yesterday and I got covered in glue. Hi! Hi Will! It's a Will Raid! How's it going guys? I mean I asked this like I haven't actually seen you like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> Just reach into my bag for paper. Put some more on there because I didn't put enough out. Right. Oh. Ah, thank you for the follow. Just realised I'm, I'm looking at the screen. Oh, I can hear the noises. I wasn't looking at the screen to see who followed. Um, I do apologise. Um, I think the first one was actually a raid. Ah, yes. See, see, um, my bot down there does thank you for following. So if I if I don't see you, um, it's because I'm a bit dim, and I'm not sure where I'm looking. <laughs> hey, Mer Dragon, I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm very well. Um, I am gonna get started while I'm yakking away. Um, all right. So this this is actually just a bit of um, the classic PVA glue, lots of water. Um. And now I'm just going to, um, a good tip is always to, um, it gets a bit messy, but it, it's always best to try and scrape off as much of the glue as possible. Like you just want it sort of dipped in the glue. You don't want the glue all over it because otherwise it sort of leaks down the sides and you waste a lot of glue and it's just, it goes rather s sloppy. Should there be desktop audio? Um, there should be. Is there not? Um, that is a good question, TC, and I'm glad you caught that because I probably wouldn't have noticed. Um, um, I'll be honest, if there isn't, I'm not sure how to fix that. <laughs> um, yeah, it should be coming out. <laughs> I know, I'm, I'm getting all sticky now. Um, you're saying about the alert noises. Yeah, there should be alert noises. Um, I th I think it all went wrong when the camera broke, I'll be honest. Um, but that that's fine, because I've not got any music on or anything, so... Um, you guys, as long as you guys can see the alerts, then I, I think I'll, I'll... I'll save that for when I'm not covering the, <laughs> the computer. Computer and glue. <laughs> um, yeah, as long, as long as you can hear the microphone, then um, that's that's all I've got at the moment. So um, I will try my best to keep an eye on the chat. <laughs> play, play with white stuff. Oh dear. I know. To be fair, I did set myself up for some serious smut because I did say that I was going to be getting sticky and it was going to be a very messy stream. And I I tried to make it as vague as possible for that exact reason. Because um, I know what you guys are like and I know you like your smut, so... Um, right, it's trying, trying to find the best place to lay these. So I'll be honest, the first one was a bit rushed, so I didn't actually want it 
to be too thick because I knew it wasn't going to dry quick enough and because when this one's drying um, if, if this doesn't take me too long then I'm going to start painting the other one a bit just just so you can see it looks a bit nicer um, sort of gets us a bit more of a stream um, <laughs> she'll soundtrack you with Skyrim atmospheres the ultimate chill that sounds good especially as you were telling me earlier Jay that you didn't actually fall asleep till like 7 this morning so I, th I think super chill is probably what you need right now um, so how are you guys doing today? you all good? has it um, not been too bad? I myself was at the dentist which is why I had to move the stream back a couple of hours um, I did actually forget literally until yesterday that that's where I was so that was a bit unfortunate <laughs> um, sorry about my name like that's okay immortal um, cloud I'm not sure which one you prefer but yeah that's fine um, I do also have a lurk command which I think does work currently it did when I put it in um, and also if you type exclamation mark commands um, no spaces it will give you a list of the commands that I currently have um, again if it's working and it was <laughs> that's one thing I haven't actually uh, tested yet though. there we go I, I, I do encourage someone to use the um, exclamation mark team love um, and you'll see why if you if you do it um, hey bud, how's it going? You good? Yeah, that 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 took me a little while to to write up. <laughs> and Lard appears to be here just in time so that he can see it too. guys can see what I'm doing. Um, I'll be honest I haven't done this properly in quite a while um, so I'm, I'm gonna try and release this one on Friday um, I'll try and get back to the crafting stream on Friday to see how this one works and then we can paint it up <laughs> so um, if this all goes horribly wrong I may have to improvise on Friday and perhaps just do some more sewing or something. Um, be honest, up until now I didn't realise crafty was a girl. <laughs> That's fine, I enjoy. Um, uh, to be fair, um, when I first started going over to Steve's streams, which I have a feeling that's where you're from originally isn't it Ojoy? Um, he did quite often refer to me as a guy because he wasn't aware that I was either and it took me several months to explain to all the random people that I um, consequently met because of Steve that I in fact was a woman um, some of them were very shocked and it was quite funny <laughs> Um, but yes, people do quite often mistake me for being a guy. Even people that have met me in person, which is slightly upsetting. Um, <laughs> not getting sticky on Friday. Um, I might be well. I might consider it. Um, but I will be painting. Um, if it all goes, if it all goes all right, I will be painting, um, our little sticky project here. Um, on Friday so and um, while I can't pick them up right now because I'm covered in glue I do have all the paint sitting next to me and hopefully like I say if, if I get this to a point where I think it looks good enough to uh, if it's got enough layers and everything I will paint the little one that I did yesterday um, so you guys will get to pick out some colours Um, yeah, this new 
whose name gives it away it can be tricky yeah that is true i'm <laughs> still live for the project itself um it will be the project will yeah um, um i think it might be against twitch's terms of service to uh paint any any kind of you know still life portraits and things like that <laughs> Assuming you're meaning ones where, you know, you, you get someone in the classroom that just strips off and then you paint them, which is, I've always found a bit weird. Is that um, JWC blue paint there? Um, no, it is actually, hang on. It is actually a metallic blue. Um, it's quite dark. It says it's ice blue. Um, but it's actually, I would say it's more of a metallic royal blue. Um, so I'm not quite sure where they got their colour ideas from. But I can make a JWZ blue. Oh, I could do that easily. <laughs> that That is true, man. Oh, st still life is usually free in a box, yeah. Um, you, you can tell that I've never taken an art class in my life. I don't even know that. <laughs> I'll, I'll be honest, I don't think we actually have any fruit in the house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Still alive. The project. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> well, with you guys, I can never be sure, so, you know... <laughs> <laughs> Don't blame me for assuming you meant something smutty. <laughs> uh, I mean, I I suppose I could paint a portrait. Well, actually, I I do have some um some pastels that I've still not used properly. So I suppose I could take a or I could make a pastel drawing of it. Um. <laughs> uh, paint nudes on my live on Pornhub. I'll be honest, with my level of painting skills, I don't think even what I paint could be considered porn because I'm not sure you could interpret it as a human or anything <laughs> naked. <laughs> like the, the, the most I could do is a slightly raunchy stick man. <laughs> oh, please no one clip that. <laughs> slightly raunchy stick. Stick man is is probably the dodgiest thing to take out of context. Um, I'm not a hundred percent filthy, you know. I'm actually quite normal. <laughs> I'm sure, Will. I'm sure. I'm sure there's far less smut to you than I believe that there is. I've got you all wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Stick man for his rigidness. Oh dear. <laughs> Stick man don't have kinks, just angles. You, I suppose you might have a point there. Yeah. Do, do they even have angles though? I'll be honest. Do do they have angles? Because they really are just sticks. <laughs> we don't angle shame. Ah, oh, you guys. All right. So this is um. I think this is going well so far. It's not all disintegrated. Um. I may have to get some more glue. But this is looking like a reasonable little tray. No shame in drawing an angle. <laughs> oh. oh god. <laughs> Well done, Jay. Well done. You see, I'm, 
I, I like this. I like just being able to sort of do something slightly weird um, and hang out with you guys and just have a chat. You know, pretty much like we usually do anyway. Except I, I wouldn't really be able to do this if we were chatting in Discord because um, I wouldn't be able to type. <laughs> I'm likewise yeah it's nice that's what I like about it <laughs> I would have very very sticky keys yes I don't, I don't think the laptop would appreciate that at all I do abuse it quite a bit considering that I bought it purely for making word documents and i've so far made it into my main pc gaming computer thing and i'm now streaming through it and somehow i can hear the fan going and it's barely making any noise whatsoever um somehow it seems to handle everything i throw at it which is the opposite of the desktop which just tries to throw itself <laughs> it doesn't like anything crafting is fun you're right TC I love crafting it's just there's something about you know just making something with your hands and you know sort of being able to sit there and see the results you know like like um with your cross stitch and stuff it's just it feels nice to be able to see an immediate kind of, um, you know, just seeing sort of the immediate effects of, of what you're doing. Sort of watching it turn into something really nice looking, especially with your cross stitches. Creating a thing out of nothing. Yeah, exactly. It is like magic. No, I'm uh, hoping at some point to raise enough funds I can get some um, cross stitching stuff and um, make that massive picture of uh, Stardew Shane because that would be awesome. <laughs> that that would that would be quite a nice series of um, series of streams, I think just sort of plug away at that slowly and the little the little one of him holding the chicken because that is adorable still need to order a tumble thread ah oh. oh yes i do you have got enough for, t for tomorrow though haven't you it's thursday tomorrow it means crafting time with tc <laughs> watching his grumpy face materialize i know i know Watching his grumpy little face just peering out of lovely thread and you know just that that look of disdain and utter disgust that you've even bothered to create him it's all worth it <laughs> yeah I'm not sure I'm right <laughs> Colors or any more evolution. Yeah. Do you have any um, plans for what you're going to make? Um, if if you want to keep it as a surprise, then don't feel like you have to tell everyone right now. But are there any more in there besides the eggplant, of course? Because I know that you were looking at that. <laughs> any more that you've been looking at um, making? I have to find a plan B for tomorrow. Oh, oh no. Oh, what's TC going to come up with? <laughs> I 
<laughs> today's kind of the only day you realise it was Thursday tomorrow. Yeah, I've I've kind of been struggling, like remembering which day of the week's is. Yeah, <laughs> the eggplant, of course. You can make a giant eggplant, I suppose. Just make a massive one. Ah, you know the one the one thing that I did pick up uh, I have forgotten. Ah, oh, hey Tim, how's it going? Um, the one thing that I I specifically found yesterday and forgot to put on the desk was a little sponge. And I'll be back in a sec. <laughs> what would I do with a giant eggplant? <laughs> that that is a good question. Hang on. I tried to walk away and the microphone's actually clipped to me so that's not going to work. One second guys. Okay, I'm back. Um, so I've got a little sponge here because the one thing you want to make sure with um, this is that it's all stuck down. And I did notice that yesterday with the one that I rushed, that some of it had little air pockets. Um, for anyone that is interested in watching this back and making it, um, I will, I will be making all of my craft streams um, as highlights. I've done it with the sewing one that I did yesterday, um, and I will do it with this one once, um, once the stream ends. So, um, so I believe the highlights they stay on Twitch forever, essentially. So, um, if anyone is ever interested in any of the crafts that I've done. Um, they can watch them back. Um, I'll be honest, I don't think they would be because I am not a professional crafter in any sense of the word. Um, but it might be amusing. But yeah, um, this little sponge, um, I got them in a pack of um, just makeup sponges I bought in Primark. And I don't often wear wear makeup, so I actually end up using them for crafts because they're really good. Um, when I do the glass painting one, I am going to do a glass painting stream at some point soon. Um, that might be for next Wednesday, actually. Um, you will see me using them quite frequently because they're really good. Um, and I, I do have a glass painting technique, which is actually quite quite effective <laughs> makeup sponges are super handy and i think i got um it was like i got these ones into like little triangular things and then little flat ones that you usually use for foundation but i think it was like a pack of 20 for a pound or something so it really wasn't that much and you know depending on how you use them you can use them several times over so they really are worth it um even for you guys, you know, if, if you do want to go crafting, just pick up some makeup sponges because, you know, you can get them for so cheap. There's there's really no point in buying the craft ones because they just, they're probably more expensive and they're not as effective. And the tape on my laptop is just for <laughs> Eyebrows, uh, eyeshadow sticks are great too. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're good, especially if you're trying to apply um, trying to apply glue to smaller areas. Like in between something. Um, I have so many craft ideas at the moment. And um, I'm, I'm, blam I'm blaming uh, Duncanland for that. Um, because we were talking about it the other day and um, I ended up after we talked going and looking up all these crafting ideas and then I was like 
ah, oh, I want to do all of these crafts now. Um. <laughs> Uh, will I be uploading them to YouTube too? Um, I might, I might do that. Um, I am considering actually putting the Assassin's Creed um, playthroughs back on YouTube rather than streaming them. Um, so I could actually upload the crafting ones on there too. So that might be a good idea. Um, I have to buy nail buffing sponges for my Stinky cubes. <laughs> to get some looks. <laughs> um, use them to make them puffs. Have a collection of sticks of all different colours dried onto them. Yeah, that is, that is the only issue with paint is if if you don't get it off when it's wet, it just stays. Um, I did actually have some unfortunate or an unfortunate incident with. Um, I'm sorry, I'm just gonna try and scoot over. Gently to grab some more glue. I cannot. Just one second. Apologise. Uh, apologies if um, me taking the microphone off is really loud for you guys. Um, but yeah, I did. I did have a incident with some fortunately rather cheap um paint paint brushes and some glass paint for some reason um i i still haven't been able to find anything which is mostly why i've been using sponges because they they feel more disposable really um I haven't been able to find any paintbrushes or any kind of remover that means that the glass paint doesn't immediately stick to the brushes and then refuse to come off. And I tried some something that my dad recommended. I think it was like a toilet cleaner or something ridiculous. Um, <laughs> I can't remember what it was, but. Um, in, in the attempt to get the paint off of the paint brushes it instead dissolved the um, bristles of the paint brushes <laughs> instead <laughs> um, so and the worst thing was that the paint was still stuck to the bristles but the bristles weren't stuck to the brush so I had to throw them away they were basically just sticks um, left and that was slightly distressing so that that was it was quite amusing because i literally tried everything up until this point to get the glue um to get the paint off and, and like i say the, the bristles came off but the paint did not um so it was determined to stick on there so if you guys do ever buy glass paint and attempt to paint glass for the love of God, make sure you use paint brushes that you do not want, um, because you will never get them back. Um, yeah, paint that sticks to brushes is very annoying. <laughs> and um, similar to this, really, because even even PVA, which is water soluble, you know, once that's stuck, it's stuck. I do actually have um, this paintbrush, um, which I did actually use for glass painting. You can still see, if you see that purple stuff, that is the glass paint. <clears throat> Last time I actually did glass painting was about three years ago. <laughs> so you, you can you can see that that stuff doesn't come off. Um, but yeah, I now use that as my glue brush, so it doesn't really matter if it gets a bit destroyed because I don't use it for anything else. Um, I'm just gonna pick this up a little. It's still, it's still quite thin. Oh, and it is covered in glue on the <laughs> on the bottom now. Oops. Total professionalism. 
so have you guys got anything planned for your evenings are you doing anything nice or just chilling maybe playing some games Oh nice, chilling ahead of M MDM. Um, no joy is fairly chill. J is is F twenty two interceptor the um, the plane flight game thing that you were gonna do the other day. Um, I'm I'm going purely on the letter slash numbers there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know much about these games, I'll be honest. Um, ah, rule is cooking. And Tim is having coffee. Ah, it is. Oh, excellent. I'm always chill. Yeah, always chill is a good thing. I think it's, it's better to be too chill than uh, work than badminton. Oh, nice car home. That's very nice. Good, um, what? Is that a Timber and you is raiding with a party of 25? Oh my god. Um, hi. <laughs> Jesus. Um, <laughs> I'm so <laughs> sorry. This is, um, it's a bit of a surprise. Um, I think this is like my third stream, so I do apologise. Um, hi everyone. Um, hi Timber and you. Hi Erzing, Erzing, Clean, um, Biska. Oh, I think I know where you guys have come from. <laughs> I recognise some of those names. Um, yesterday it was. Proto wood working today was post woodworking. Oh, lovely! I do love a bit of woodworking. Um, <clears throat> uh, clean cut woodworking. Hi guys, how are you all doing today? I hope it's been well. Um, I trust if you're streaming, uh, if you're raiding me, then you were streaming and that it's going well. Hi, unicorn sun. Is that? I'm sorry. Um, it's it's a bit difficult for me to read. Um, I'm a little bit blind. <laughs> but yeah, so you you guys all good today? Been uh, been good with the woodworking and whatnot. I hope. Um, you have caught me in the middle of making a paper mache bowl thing. Um. I'm sort of going going with the rustic um, sort of jewellery bowl, bowl theme. Hey Lisa! Um, it was great, thanks. Um, so what do you do with these bowls? Do you paint them? Um, I'll be honest, this is actually, well technically it's the second one. I, I made one yesterday as a little example so people could see what I'm doing. Um, I will be painting them though, but it's mostly a trying to think of something um, quick that I could do with very few resources <laughs> um, kind of craft um, but I'm hoping that if I sort of get enough practice in that I can um, start painting them and maybe selling them on which will be nice um, this guy knows the theme with the raid um, <laughs> yeah so um with all of these new people in in the chat and everything do you guys what crafts do you guys do mostly are there any particular that you do um do you just watch craft um 
Yeah, I wonder if you can make paper mache waterproof somehow. Um, oh, thank you for the follow, Unicorn Sam, and and Timber and you. Thanks, guys. Um, <laughs> thanks, Jay. Um, I think I'm sure there must be a way to make paper mache waterproof. Um, I mean, it is to a point, I suppose, but then again, PVA is water soluble, so. I would assume that would make it not waterproof, but I, I'm sure that there probably is some kind of way that you could make it that would make it waterproof, or some kind of varnish that you could add to it afterwards. Um, clock and watch making, wow, Erzing, that's amazing. Um, Minecraft, <laughs> I enjoy. Um, well, I guess technically that is crafting. Um, not seen anyone paper mashing here before so i thought it'd be cool to watch yeah thank you i really appreciate that yeah um oh thank you colleen for the follow yeah i thought i thought i'd just try something a bit different um it's it's simple enough that i can not concentrate too much on it while i um chat to you guys which is nice because now there's a lot of you here so that, that really worked out well for me. Uh, do crochet and knitting with few miscellaneous fibre things thrown in. Oh, that's really nice, Colleen. Um, my sister crochets and um, what she does is incredible. She made her friend, uh, friend's little baby a little crochet blanket and I've, I've watched her do it and honestly, I just, I sit there in awe. It's like magic. I don't understand like how how you get the the wool from one needle to another and it makes things because when I do it it just sits there not actually doing anything. Um I I've, I've never wrapped my head around it. <laughs> um Unicorn Sun, I make cards, flower arranging and other crafts like cross stitch and knitting and more. Well we do have a very big fan of cross stitching in here um tc loves games so if you would like to make uh if you'd like to watch her making um stardew themed cross stitch or other things like that um go give her a follow um as for um cards cards and flower making um love both of those that would be great great to do um But yeah, so <laughs> oh joy, I can't even thread a needle. Yeah, ne needles, to be fair, can be very tricky, and um, very, very stubborn. Oh, that's okay, TC. You're more than welcome. You guys have been helping me, so it's the least I can do. Uh, yarn goes into two wands, turns socks and scarf magic. Ex exactly, I think that's that's really um, that's that's really as far as it goes for me. It's like. I, I see this happening and I don't understand how, but it's amazing. <laughs> um Yeah, I was um I'm actually making a patchwork blanket, so it's not quite not quite as magic as um making the wool into socks and whatnot. But that's that's as close to what I get with, you know, and needles and some kind of cotton or you know <laughs> something um using my grandmother knows the eldritch ah oh, and she makes all of my woolly socks oh that's lovely nice lovely pair of woolly socks can't say fairer than that <laughs> Shouldn't be trusted with anything pointy. Um, yeah, I'll be. I'll be honest. Oh joy, my mother is quite similar in that respect. Like, I I wouldn't tell you the things that she's accidentally done to herself. Um, usually, when making dinner, basically we don't allow her anywhere near skewers or knives anymore. <laughs> She's a little accident prone. Um, we were having a discussion the other day and she was saying about getting um, 
don't know how many of you here have seen like little catering blow torches um and the the look of pure horror on my face when she mentioned that considering i know how dangerous she can be to herself i was like um you would probably set the kitchen on fire and yourself so maybe not <laughs> I need more people in my life I can ask to make me things are they everyone's <laughs> crossing skills that I do not well I mean you've got a great community here right now Jay I can tell you that uh, so it depends really what you're looking for I suppose um, grand grandmother can't cook she <laughs> it tastes terrible she messes up spaghetti with sauce <laughs> um, my, my only claim for bad cooking is that I managed to set fire to chocolate in a microwave once. Um, not my proudest moment. And I'll be honest, we no longer have that microwave, but it wasn't me that killed it, so I <laughs> accept no responsibility. I have made chocolate, uh, many chocolate things since, and I also don't use a microwave for it, so that's probably it. Um, Muscovy, very glad I raided you. You seem nice here. Have a great stream. Oh, thank you, Timber and you. Thank you so much for your wonderful company and bringing all of these lovely people over. And I really hope to see you again soon. Um, I will make sure that I follow you back if I'm not already. Because um, I am terrible with things like that. I'm throwing the paper everywhere now. But yeah, have, have, uh, have some good food, I hope. And um, I'll see you see you soon again. I hope. Um, I'm I should be back Friday, so for a nice chill stream. See you later. Um, um, <laughs> I'm excellent at dinner. I have res reservations. Uh, reservations down to a science. You know what, Colleen? I I approve greatly of this. Like, but if people underestimate how important it is to be able to make reservations or order food you know it's it's a very important skill to know um once i forgot to put put, <laughs> put, put war in a pot noodle before putting it in my um i i i don't want to criticize oh joy I, I am not a chef in any sense of the word but i think where you went wrong was putting the pot noodle in the microwave um, you should you just pour the hot water over it. <laughs> yeah. We, our family has had some uh, quite spectacular cooking disasters. The, the best one, I would say by far, um, was one that my sister did. Um, you know, we, did, we do more more often than not we make homemade food um but she made this sponge pudding oh unicorn sand sorry i want to go now hope to catch you again soon oh see you later unicorn sand thank you so much for coming over in the raid and i hope to see you soon um have a good evening or morning depending on where you are um i'm not not too sure where you are but if, if you're in america it's like afternoonish there isn't it um over here it's sort of early evening um but yeah so my sister was making a sponge pudding and like we we still don't know to this day what happened whether it was the microwave or the ingredients or something but the the pudding basically just dissolved itself is is the only way to describe it 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 ate itself like there was there was just nothing left of it except for some weird sludge at the bottom of the bowl <laughs> so I don't know what happened checked on it the whole time and it was just gone um, so yeah we, we have had some cooking disasters but it's all fun oh oh my joy it was an old school pot noodle I didn't even know you had to do that with old pot noodles so um that, that goes to show my knowledge 
I can see why they changed it to just boiling water. Because um, putting it in the microwave does seem weird. Mmm, <laughs> sludge. I know. Um, it, it's safe to say that we did not eat that pudding. Um, mainly because there wasn't actually anything left to eat. And what was left was just some, like, partly cooked batter, I guess. Um, <laughs> it was not edible. And we were rather disappointed. <laughs> Um, less fun though. Um, I suppose it, it is what no, it is fun watching stuff go around in the microwave. To be fair, you don't you don't get that satisfaction when you just pour water on it. Um, right, so just trying to flatten this out a bit. Make sure I've got no air bubbles oops make sure I don't pull off the paper and just rip it to shreds total professionalism right now there we go <laughs> just uh, fill it up under the tap whack it in the microwave for a few minutes job done yeah I mean that, that that's the thing when 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 you're looking for something quick, you can't really say fairer than that, can you? Right, let's have another look. See, it's it's feeling quite heavy now. I'll be honest. Um, some of this is quite quite thickly layered. I think so. Maybe give it another coating, and then I might leave this one and perhaps start painting the other one um how long have we been on oh been on just under an hour um so that's not too bad i'm, I'm trying to make trying to make the streams a little bit longer but um yeah i, th I think uh, i'm i'm quite I'm, i don't know whether it's just that i'm sort of you know, subconsciously rushing when I'm crafting or something, but I do tend to get things done a bit quick and then wish that I had taken a bit more time with it. Um, how long does paper mache teach dry? Um, it entirely depends on how much you've done of it. So with this one, I made this, um, I think roughly this time last night, and I left it to dry, and I came back to it, um, yeah, so I think it was about 12-ish hours, just to make sure that it was fully dry all the way through. Um, if it's really thick, then obviously it's going to take longer. I'm assuming that you've done it properly and not drowned it in glue like I would. Um, well it's actually yeah this this one isn't too bad the other one um because i was rushing it um it it did get a little swamped <laughs> but um yeah usually the best practice with um paper mache is to leave it about 20 24 hours um if it's particularly large then they do recommend 48 just to make sure that it's dry all the way through um crying so much just chopped eight onions oof oh will oh i feel your pain there yikes that is a lot of onion i'll be crying having to chop that many onions um making sushi burritos Erzing, that sounds amazing <laughs> oh hey justin hi how are you doing <laughs> I want to pay for my shades on me now, but I don't know what. Um, oh, I've got two for the price of one there. I wasn't paying attention. Um, well, making a paper mache bowl was quite easy, TC. Um, I remember saying, oh, yeah, 
I meant to ask you, and I can't remember if I did actually, TC, how did that um, display thing that you're making for Christmas go? You know, the little um, tree with all of the beads and glitteriness. I think I saw your last update post, but I don't know if um, you actually posted since the end result. <laughs> <laughs> Don't pay for mache, Sammy. Oof. I mean, he, he always looks rather... Yeah, the table thing. <laughs> Still at your mum's house. Well, uh, that's that's good then. Because, obviously, if it, if it survived its way there, then it must be pretty good. Um, You might have done and I might have missed it because I am pretty rubbish at keeping an eye on discord chats and any kind of social media that requires my daily interaction um, so I might have just not paid attention when you had ah uh, thank you for the followersing much appreciated um, but yeah I remember I remember because we were chatting about it and I was saying that you could make um, one of those out of paper mache, I think. Um, didn't quite match the picture in, I had in my head but I'm fairly happy with it. Yeah, that's that. That's the thing for me. It's like what, what I imagine something's going to look like doesn't tend to uh, look like how I, how I make it, you know, and... Uh, my advice never go on Pinterest if you want to make anything never go on Pinterest because what they suggest you to make and the things that they make they never happen in real life and all all it does is give you this amazing idea and then make you feel really disappointed that it doesn't look like that. <laughs> um, yeah yeah, that is the thing. You always look at something and think, oh, I could do that better. Or it, it would it would look great if this. No. <laughs> um, still trying to figure out Instagram. Um, you know what, Erzing? I still have no clue. I've been in, on Instagram for about a couple of months, I think. A month or two. Um, still have no idea how it works. Only just found out that I had... Um, private messages on there um, but to be fair they were from people trying to sell me stuff so it wasn't all that important anyway but yeah I'm terrible with social media it takes me a good six months to actually figure out where most of the buttons are um, I know I didn't I was scrubbling to put together on Christmas Day yeah that's fair enough oh, thank, you. thank you for the follow Justin thank you so much um <laughs> Pinterest, my great love and worst enemy. Yes, yes, exactly. Right, I I did go on there when I was looking for inspiration, but to be fair, I also did take it in mind that I probably wasn't actually going to make anything that I found. Um, I I did find the the cutest thing ever, which was like this giant um hot air balloon. And like the balloon bit was made out of paper mache and then it had this cute little wicker basket all around the bottom. And I was like, this is the most adorable thing that I've ever seen. But I will never make that. <laughs> uh, it annoys me I can't post images from my computer. Yes, I hate that. I absolutely hate that so much. I find that so annoying because I... The thing is that I don't actually have internet on my phone. Um, I'm one of these old school people um, so when I'm out and about if I take a picture then you know I do tend to upload it immediately to my computer when I get back I don't necessarily think oh I'll put that on Instagram and you know likewise if I've got something that I've done on the computer that I want to share to Instagram I then have to put it on my phone so that I can then upload it and it's 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 a bit of a pain and I think it's it's great in this modern mobile society, but I think it does also limit quite a few people to not being on Instagram for that reason. It's a bit of a 
bit of a silly oversight. I did actually download the um, Windows um, app the other day, but even with that, I still can't actually post anything from the computer, so I feel that there is absolutely no point in them even having an app for the computer because you still can't do anything with it. put that one on the edge right there windows bad uh windows apps are shocking bad yeah i'll be i'll be honest i used to really love windows and up until windows vista i mean windows 98 um no windows xp um Possibly quite a few people would agree with me if they have used it. It was by far the best Windows um, operating system. Windows 10 is just so annoying, I find. And, like, I don't like all of this stuff that's just constantly running and I can't get rid of it. You know, like, like with mobiles, you know, you've got all of this stuff and they don't allow you to uninstall it. And I know because Cortana despite me in disabling her many times, is still monitoring every word that I say. In fact, I'm sure if uh, she was set up for rec uh, speech recognition and I had turned it off, she would still be yelling back to me right now. Um, yeah, Windows 7. W Windows 7 was just the slightly less buggier version of Windows Vista, I'll be honest. Um, AFC. Um, well, the, the things we didn't actually have a computer until like mid two thousands, like early early to mid two thousands. So I don't think we ever had Windows ninety five. Um, Windows eight and eight point one were okay. But they weren't amazing. Thank you for the follow, Ibsy. Um But yeah, no, Windows 10 is just gh. I hate it so much. <laughs> I, I don't like not having the option to disable features that I don't want. Especially like I say when Cortana is sitting there listening to every word I say and I don't like being monitored. Which is why I quite often try and have how how well do I? I would love to know how I do that. I would love to get rid of her off of my system once and for all, because she drives me nuts. Um, I don't know what Encarta is. I'll be honest. Um, to be fair, I was. I was one when Windows 95 came out, assuming that was in the year 1995, <laughs> so I would not be what, no, I would not know what that is. I know, so young. So young and yet do not feel it at all. Turned off Cortana during setup process on this laptop. And she's not done anything since. You know, I, I genuinely don't know that I ever got that option. Oops, oops, I, I pulled it in half. Whoops. Um, but to be fair, my laptop was actually a refurb, so I guess I set it up before I got it. So it was probably impossible to disable it from that point. Um, Look into it after you mean to do. Ah, thanks, so Joy. <laughs> yeah. Interactive encyclopedia. Hmm. Interesting. You know, um, before the internet, <laughs> it was all we had to look up stuff. Yeah, exactly. Back in my day, if you if you want to learn something, go to the library. I mean, I'd still do that. To be fair, we do have a library in the village. I've never used it. Um. But that's mostly because the village is like two, three miles away and I don't want to walk that far. 
down main road because we have no pavements. <laughs> I'll tell you the, the one thing I do miss the most about Windows XP, um, if, if you guys ever used it, I don't know if it was on earlier versions, but when you would search things and it would come up with that little puppy dog, <laughs> like the little search dog that would appear when you were looking up files. <laughs> I am that sad. I miss the little dog. <laughs> and ask Jeeves before it was completely hopeless. Yeah. Those were the days. Um. Uh. Ah, that... You know what, Joy, I, I am going to try that at some point. Because I would really like to be able to use my computer without wondering what Cortana is listening to. Especially when you know when you when you have those conversations with someone about something and then the next day, you know, if you're if you're talking about Dyson Hoovers or something and then all of a sudden you get nothing but adverts for Dyson Hoovers and you're like yeah I kind of got the feeling you were listening um see you later Ipsy. right well on the count of the fact that I've used the rest of the loo um I think I'm gonna make this bit my last bit and then I'm gonna set this side to dry and do the old, is one I prepared earlier. So. Just give that a quick sponge over, make sure that it's all stuck down. One thing I'll say about this, this is, um, oops, just brush those to the side. They, those will unstick from each other later, so that's why. Um, is that this, this bit here, is going to take the longest to dry. Um, the simple reason is that there are so many layers of glue on there. Um. How many layers of this paper oh, does this paper mache? Yeah. Um, I'll be honest, I'm not sure I counted. Um, I'm not too sure on that one, Jay, but it, it did get quite a few. More than three, yes. <laughs> More than three, I think, is the technical definition. Um, it it didn't it entirely depends a what you're planning to use it for um and b how quickly you want to make it really um because obviously the, the thicker it is the longer it takes to dry um you know i if you have a radiator you could put it on there yeah um, I think a hairdryer you can also blow it over the hairdryer as well but obviously you don't get too close um, and you might want to leave it to dry for a little bit, possibly a couple of hours, just so that the first layer of um, glue dries. Because otherwise, if you if you blow it with something really strong, then obviously any loose glue is just going to go and splatter everywhere, and that's going to make a horrible mess. Um, our house unfortunately does not have radiators, so I cannot assist it with its drying in any way um, which is why I'm planning to do this one on Friday because then it should have time to completely dry before um, before then so um, heat would melt the glue um, yes and no in, in some respect it's not too bad because um, because it's PVA um, I'm not sure the heat affects 
hates it as much, but if if it's for something that's drying it, essentially, um, if it's if it's a dry heat, then I think that would probably be okay. Um, Sweet Vinaya, is that how you pronounce your name? Thank you for the follow. Um, but dry the paper, though. Yeah. Um, it's. It, it is, it is a bit of a conundrum really um i have thought about uh, thought that uh, myself about it um but i do think i have seen people that have used a hair dryer um I, I wouldn't say it helps as much as just fully air drying it and letting it dry naturally though um so if if you do have the ability to set it aside and just leave it for a, like a day or so then I think that is better for it than um, sort of artificial drying, as it were. Um, okay, so I'm going to paint this one. And wow, am I up to 43 already? Jeez. Um, all right, so these are... Oh, let me just put that one back in the frame. Um, these are all the colours I've got, and I will run through them in a second. Um, don't know how many of those you can actually see <laughs> so I have a green I have red I have a very nice purple which actually looks black on this camera unfortunately because the camera looks very washed out I'll be honest um, I have this bright yellow which you can see although it looks a little white again um, that one is black and I don't know where it says it um, but this one is like a metallic black so it's sort of glittery um, that one is orange although it does look more red and then this is the blue that I was showing you earlier um, that actually does look quite accurate on the camera so it does pick up some of them and I do also have white, um, but I don't have too much of that one left. Um, I'd forget that I'd left it aside somewhere and discover it two weeks later. Well, on the bright side, you would be definitely assured that it was dry two weeks after you created it. So that is a side bonus. Um, but yeah, do you guys have an idea what you would like this one to be coloured? I suppose if I did the yellow, the black, and mix up a light blue, that that would be rather J Dubsy colours, wouldn't it? What do you reckon? Think we should go with that one? <laughs> blue. That's that's definitely a blue vote. Just give that one a bit of a shake. Yeah, I think a nice, I think a nice J Dubsy blue would be, would be good. Could do J Dubsy blue on the outside, and then uh, put a bit of yellow on the inside. Hi, Katie. Hello. Oh, some of these paints have stuck together. Oh no, oh no, I've got paint on my nail varnish. Um. Oops. Let's just see that the best thing and fortunately I've I've aimed it out of the frame of the camera is that I have a really useful full lamp, which is actually how we've got the light in here today. Um and because the top of it rotates it's got a bar on the end and I've just threaded a um roll of blue roll over that so <laughs> So it, so I can literally just wipe my hands off when I need to, and it makes it a lot easier when I'm crafting because I, I can clean my hands instantly. Right, it's a bit of metallic black. Um, no, don't need the white. And then a bit of the uh, 
bit of the TC yellow. Oh, and I've covered myself in more paint. Good job. <laughs> right. So let's move that rather the rather nice looking uh, paint paint water jar. Um, I've been using this for quite a while, and you can tell by the <laughs> disappointed that none of the paints made a noise. Ah, uh, you see, that's because I was doing it on the opposite side of the microphones, <laughs> so you wouldn't get that loud squelchy noise. I may have mixed way too much blue paint, I'll be honest. So I might have to find something else. Oh yes, the squeaky noise, I apologise. Um, that is my chair. Um, basically, I, I bought this chair for a tenner in a charity shop. <laughs> um, and I can see why, because it squeaks to high heaven. Um, and every now and again you will hear a clunk and that is because it um, it sort of it goes oops um, if I lean towards one side it sort of clunks off of the uh, post in the middle and it's slightly disconcerting because I am worried that one of these days I'll lean too far and it'll just fall over um, and then I'll be just lying on the floor in pain <laughs> but yeah it's um it's amusing to have those uh, little noises. Oh, getting a little far away from the camera. So far, oh, so far I've got a few little. <laughs> yes, yeah. If, if you hear a bang and I suddenly disappear from from view um, it's because the chair's fallen over and I need help so please please dial 999 <laughs> mm. this has gone gone more of a, a light blue I'm not sure how how j dubsy it is I'll be honest Sort of more of almost powder blue. Um, I think it does actually darken up a little when it dries, actually. So it might be okay. Um, if not, we'll just have to paint the other one and make it nicer. Um, for anyone who might like to know, also I am using... Oh, thank you for the host... Um, Katie. Yeah, I am using acrylic paints for this. Um, acrylic paints are basically the sort of um, most common for crafting. Um, you, you can use them on just about any surface, wood, um, plastic, all that sort of stuff. Um, I, I would advise if if you're buying paints, I would advise that you sort of check them over because if um, if they're really watery, then that tends to suggest that they're not they're not going to be very good. The, the quality isn't there. Um, so I do have some of um, it's not not this one, but another one similar to this. Um, that's not a proper brand and it's it's very watery and it does take quite a few layers to actually get a decent covering um, which obviously means that any money that I save buying it has now been completely erased by the fact that it takes about three coats more than um, just buying a proper one <laughs> exactly Jay yep. and you'd be safe in the knowledge that Crafty Rob, uh, Crafty Rebel, is uh, not been killed by her own desk chair. 
Oh, thanks for the host, Lisa. Oh, that's fine. Um, I never remember to to do hosts or any of that stuff. <laughs> like I say, I'm 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 terrible when it comes to this stuff. So if I ever, you know, miss someone that's coming into the chat or you know, don't say thanks for a follow. It's it's generally because I have not registered it at all. Like I could hear the, all the alerts and I I just wasn't paying attention because usually I'm used to hearing the alerts on someone else's stream and then they say things. <laughs> this, this whole streaming thing is quite new. Um, despite putting that announcement on Sarah back. Yeah. I'm, I'm shockingly terrible for things like that. Uh, crafters suffer ill health and even death from bad chairs it, that is well, although that is aimed as a joke that is probably actually fairly accurate <laughs> that's probably quite worryingly accurate to be fair <laughs> I do need some mods actually I do. I didn't want to just go, you know, like start modding people because, you know, everyone has their own lives and I don't expect people to be here. Sort of. Oh, I'm moving out of the frame again. Um, yeah. Don't expect people to sort of just be here all the time to um, to help me, but at the same time, it's probably probably something that I need because when I'm doing stuff like this, um, if it's sewing it's fine but if I'm doing something like this I suppose I kind of do need someone that can ban anyone that attempts to you know be silly as it were right so we've got that one painted on the outside and I've dropped it on the desk which is a great start because that was the only bit of the desk that wasn't covered um, that's fine because it doesn't actually take very much to get this stuff off. Ah, thank you for the follow. Thanks, Pixel Crashers. <laughs> and it feels weird calling you that, but. <laughs> Hello. Fancy seeing you here. Right, I will actually. I've. I'm covered a little bit in paint. Yeah, it's okay. While I'm here. Uh, where's the mouse? Oh no. Oh, don't want to do that. Um. Okay, I'll be honest, I'm not sure how I add mods. Yeah. I'll 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 sort out, sort out doing that later. <laughs> I may or may not have just got some paint on my blanket, possibly. Nobody saw a thing. <laughs> I'm doing terrible today. More than years then. Ah, thanks, Jay. Yeah. So I've I've got to turn around and lean over because the laptop is actually having to sit on the bed. So that I have enough room on the desk. Yay. There we go. <laughs> yeah, you guys are well behaved. You guys are very nice to me. But yeah. Welcome in, Mr. Pixel Crashers. <laughs> Immediately causes uh, some carnage. Um, right. <laughs> Case in point. Oh, nah, you're no trouble, really. All for show. Right, I think I think I've got enough of the blue off of there, and 
It's not dry, but it's dry enough for me to pick up in some places. I think I might have actually just covered myself in glue. Now what I can do there. Ah. You see what I was saying about not so good quality paints? Is that you can see the newspaper underneath it. So I'm going to have to cover that one in white paint first in the hopes that it will seal it in. If not, I suppose I could cover it in black actually and then put yellow on it. You do have a sword. <laughs> Ah, uh, the wine. No, no one mentions the wine, TC. <laughs> no one can remember. <laughs> so you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna curve this one. I'm gonna cover the inside in black because that will work better and you won't be able to see the newsprint <laughs> oh no have I, have I have I caused carnage in the chat already I've, I've given the mod swords too early <laughs> uh. Yes, res res plus wine. Hilarity on Suze. Classic. I'm responsible sword owner. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> exactly. I do do hope that um, they are being respectful of you and your massive sword, TC. Because if they're not. I can't do much about it because I'm covered in paint. <laughs> be honest, the inside of this is a lot more difficult to paint than the outside of it was. Purely because it's a lot, it's a lot more dented, I think, from... I, di I didn't put the cellophane on the thing smooth enough. Carnage is a child of venom. Still haven't seen venom yet. Yeah. I I have not seen venom either. I have heard about it. I'll be honest, I haven't heard whether it was good or bad. Um <laughs> Respect the sword, yes. Always respect the sword. And you will respect TC's authority. Black inside the ball makes it look like you're painting into outer space. <laughs> that, that could actually be a really cool effect, I suppose. Or makes it look like you're just, um, you know, just, just painting a black hole. It's a black bowl hole. Hole bowl? Bowl hole, hole? Yes, it, it is the sparkly metallic black. It is. It doesn't look so nice on the camera. Um... I'm trying to turn that away you can see it sort of I think it already looks a bit shiny because it's wet but it does also look that shiny when it's dried I don't know how much you can see because there's not too much light in here um, but yeah it does it does also look it looks very shiny that's very nice 
The only issue is that with the light bouncing off it, I can't quite see what what is shiny paint and what is actually a gap in the paint. So I'm sort of having to lean quite a bit further forwards to actually see it. <laughs> Series of twelve zodiac bowls. <laughs> now that that would be interesting. I'm I'm not sure how accurate my ability to paint constellations would be. Um, but that that would be amusing nonetheless. <laughs> Space balls. No worries, CC. That is actually a gap, just a tiny gap. Right, that's the walls of the bowl painted. And then go across the middle bit. May have to get out some more paint. <laughs> Film of the uh, infinite void of black. Black! All the black. <laughs> My eyes are pies. And actually, it is apparently National Pie Day today. If anyone um, cares so much. So, I guess my eyes are on point for today. I believe that's what the cool kids say. Oh, look at that. I ran, just ran out of black paint and I had a small bit to go. Oh, how typical is that? And I've used way too much there. That's fine. be honest I'm not making I'm not trying to make this look too perfect because it's like the first one that I've done <laughs> on on fleek and also on flake because pastry <laughs> that is genius All right so yeah that's the inside of the wall and that's the outside of the wall and there you go a little bit of the JW right there um Oops, I, ha I have got a few little smudges of black paint on the outside. So I'm just going to clean the paintbrush off. And try and paint back over those. Paint isn't coming off quite as easily as I'd like. There we go. Yeah. As you can see, the bowl was still quite wet. <laughs> Pies. Yeah, I don't don't know how well you can see where I painted. It's quite, it's quite bright. There's like a little bright splodge, but when it dries, it actually dries quite, quite a lot darker. Um, I I have forgotten that occasionally when I've mixed up this paint before, and I've gone and paint so like, no, that's the wrong colour. It doesn't look the same. And it actually dries exactly the same as it does. So, which is lucky. Right. 
There we go. Just get a bit more to dry the brush on. Then hmm, let's see. What do you reckon? Maybe try for yellow polka dots in the inside just to uh, see how that will go because I don't know if it will go well with the blue just do it on the do it on the inside ah there we go get a nice little nice little yellow polka dots just so we have uh, the whole of team Dubsy represented um, I must head off to drive home. Um, see you later, TC. Thank you so much for stopping by. Um, have a safe trip. Um, I possibly won't be on too much longer. Um, anyway, so you won't miss much. But yeah, have a good one. I will see you later. Um, I'm terrible at polka dots. <laughs> no mods now time to write. Uh oh. Uh oh. I keep putting my fingers in wet paint. Post us a pic pick of the finished product. I definitely will. Definitely will put a picture up. When it's finished, um, I'm resting my arm in something, and I think I'm hoping it's water. If not, I've got paint splattered up my arm, which I will find later, um, and that will not be good. <laughs> Let's have some more party popper. Hey, let's have a party! It's looking nice so far, I think. It's um. It's a bit leery, I'll be honest, but equal representation, guys. All for it. Having difficulty keeping my hands steady enough, though, I'll be honest. <laughs> what are you laying off Ipsy for? <laughs> I mean he is small so you know that that amount of pressure for someone so small can be deadly don't want that to check pressure of your ipsy at least once a month exactly the, the the best way to do that is to uh make, make him play through several levels of arc and um if if he if he finishes and he dies by uh by pterodactyl you know and he doesn't rage then you know the pressure's fine he's all good One stream of duck souls is an emergency measure. <laughs> the good old Ibsy Ibsy rage gauge. It's like, is he so mad that even duck souls would be frightened? It's uh oh. It's a bit bendy, and I think that's mostly because of the paint um, is the issue there. So it might also be that it wasn't 
wasn't too dry um, but that's fine it's, it's quite thin anyway but yeah so we've got we've got the the blue the black and uh, the yellow there all of oh, I'm trying to trying to aim at the camera so you can see the inside of it yeah we've got um Toy Dubsy represent right there and um, the other one is nowhere near dry so I think I think I might call that there for the moment we've done just under two hours and um, it's been fantastic today I really appreciate everyone coming to stop by and and the raids and the follows um, we've almost hit the 50 50 followers mark already I am utterly shocked and very appreciative of that so thank you all so much for coming and like I say I should be back on 44 followers yes we are almost there guys <laughs> um, but yeah I should be back on Friday um, for more bowl painting because we'll hopefully our other one will be dry by then and if it's not or for any reason it goes wrong um, I will probably just do some more sewing because um, that's something that I can start fairly quickly so um, yeah I will see you Friday um, I don't have a time as yet but I might actually try and do it again at five o'clock because that seems to be sort of the best time when everyone's around or available um so yeah thank you so much guys um really appreciate it <laughs> bowl hype yeah oh thanks thanks guys so much and um see you later yeah bye for now